right, I'm How just the, trying uh, to get eyebrows going. They're slowly growing back. Oh, slowly. They're slowly but surely growing back now, which is great. Did you like the uh, new eyebrow look? Uh, not really my cup of tea. Not your cup of tea, that's fair. I think, I think mm. uh, Titan's Creed being completely bald, no eyebrows, no beard, I think that'd be a good the, look. The, the, pro the problem is, is that I've gone most of my life having, like, no hair. So, like... Oh, really? Yeah, like, I nearly always kept it short. And um, when I was working for far uh, in fast food places, like, I didn't have the beard either. So, me having no hair is not really anything new. In fact, this is the first time in my life that I've really had the opportunity to grow my hair out. So... And you're loving every second of it. Uh, well, I mean, with the exception of, like, my hair, my, my hair on top of my head is in that horrible period right now where it's... It's just disgusting. Like, it's, it's like, too long to really be... It's too hard to maintain. Yeah, so... Like I've, I've got a fucking knot at the back. People, people have been making fun of me on the podcast and everything else that I've been wearing, like hats. I only wear hats on stream and everything else, and I'm like, yeah, because my hair is in a really horrible state right now. And then I, I well, put it, I put it in a, I put it in a like a, a top knot or a knot at the back of my, at the back of my head, like right there. And then people make fun of me the fact that I've got a top knot. And they're like, oh, don't you, don't have a man bun? And I'm like. <laughs> How dare you tell me what I can you, and can't do? You'd fit right in in America, you would. You'd be in your cap on. Yeah, your top knot, very nice. Your, bu your bun, your hair good bun. To, good to hear, Rigoroot. Sorry, you cut out. Oh, I'll just say, uh, do, do you want to talk a bit, a bit about the uh, the charity we're raising money? Do I want to talk about it? Yeah, if, if you want to. That special effect. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I need to get your thing. Yeah, quick. it's fine. You do that while I sing this. It's fine. Yeah, how much, how much to shave your head, Pete? I'm not shaving my head. That, that's, how much, that's... How much, though? Everybody, Ted DiBiase said everyone's got a price. No. Everyone's got a price. Everyone's got a price. <laughs> money, 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 money. Um, no. I, I like, <laughs> this is the first time in 36 years that I've actually been able to grow my hair out. I'm not. I'm not cutting it off. Oh, like, boo. I did it. Not even for charity. Exactly. I did it for my anniversary stream. Yeah, but you didn't have a lot. You were losing your hair. It's just bad <laughs> for you to just get rid of it all. Don't give me it, that. I, it, it, I got, it was spinning. My hair's spinning out. I've got a full head of hair. Some of it may be graying, yes, but I have a full head of hair with no receding hairline. My hair is perfectly fine, thank you very much. One hour later. It works. Andy, I have a question for Pete. I mean, uh, Pete, Pete's in the voice uh, in the chat. Hello. He'll see what you're seeing. <clears throat> Alexi has a question. Hello. So, so Pete is Jonathan Kent. Sure. What? For, I'm not shaving my goddamn head. <laughs> he won't do it. He's too much of a coward. I no. Well, a I don't have anything to do it. B I'm not prepped for it. You know, and shave it. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what for charity. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll talk. I'll talk it over with Andy later, and I might add it as uh, a further donation goal after we after we hit a grand. Might do. I'm not promising jack and or shit. I'd also never do a shave my head instantly. Just not my thing. Yeah, oh, that's fair enough, Josh. Mate, uh, you've never. There is. I think there's like a singular picture that exists of me when I had contact lenses in where I had no hair on my head and no hair on, the on my hell chin. M or I do. It's, it's quite honestly the most horrifying thing because I didn't have any sleep. I had my contacts in and I just looked like I was oh. stoned. <laughs> so because it, it just looks like that, um, because it just looks like that, as like a good friend of ours like turned around took the picture and added the tagline do you know that miles per hour is miles <laughs> per hour <laughs> oh yes yay
more stretch goals, and uh, well, let's just say one of them is is a fan is a fan request or a viewer request. See. I have all of them on the screen right now, my dude. Oh, I know. I, I saw. I saw. Hey, even Tom's like three thousand. <laughs> That's how much my hair costs. Okay. Yeah, there, you, there you go. I said yes- there you go. I, I said I said yesterday that if you want it, I'm gonna I'll put it out there, but it, and it will be a goal. It's obta- It's obtainable. Just depends how much you guys want it. Much, much, much later. The length of donation. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Who was that? Oh. No, 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 no. There wasn't any like. A, there wasn't any donation. You, you don't have to pause. Oh. Oh. Well, you said donation, and I was just no, like... No, no, it's like we were thinking of a donation. Uh, there has Actually, been... you know what? There oh has my been god! What is it? Holy shit. What is it? Who the hell is that? Was it anonymous? Wait, oh, what? S- someone called the shaver donated 420 quid to bring the total to 3,000. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just done something. What a fucking donation mm. to do it on as well. <laughs> <laughs> a Mahusev <laughs> donation as well. 420 plays it. Dab. fucking shit. Several days later. Alright squad, I actually had uh, a whole thing that we'd recorded on my phone of the whole process of shaving and talking to people like the old man and like everything else as we've been doing it but you know here we go as promised it's gone this is about as close as you're gonna get it um there you go um i want to before i wrap this up you know you've seen the events like as, as well as i could have edited it down to find the like the best clips that we could possibly have had between day one day three of race for good like i mean first of all i need to say like thank you to andy for putting up with my shit year on year on year like if it wasn't for him I, I, race for good probably wouldn't exist in this in the thing that it is i certainly couldn't do this on my own um i mean Otherwise, like, I need to thank everybody who's commentated, like, there was Green Viper, Scott Nick, um, Casey from Radio Sega, you had Kevin from Last Minute Continue, you had Turbo from Turbo Drive Live, you had Phil from Emerald Coast, uh, we had Amanda and Monica from Geek Herring, we had Michael from uh, Two Nerds Make More. We had Tom from Free Extra Lives. We had Rig uh, from Character Craft. We had Visit Jeff Hogg from the Sonic Stadium. Uh, we had Matt Mannheimer, who I'm sure you're aware of. Sonic Yoda from Sega Driven. SSF1991, Donnie, you know. And obviously we had, um, you know, Mike Pollock come on as well. Um, wasn't expecting that this year um like things just took a massive turn uh we need to thank uh, i think it's soundwave media i believe uh for giving us some codes for eagle island as well we need to thank those we need to thank special effects for the headset i know this is benefiting them but they gave us the headset to give away and lastly there's just everybody who tuned in over those three days who shared it on social media and everything else like you know, when we started it this year, we only had like a £700 target with like a thousand stretch goals. You guys hammered it in a day. We had to change that to £1,500. Uh, sorry, all the way up to three grand. Like, and we just like threw stuff together. Like, it's it feels hard to sit here and like mention it because at the end of the day, and Andy and I have said it many times, like, all we do is sit in front of a screen. But I get it, you know? I mean, I also need to thank the artist before I forget. So there's uh, Cat Haywood, Double Cross, who did the little um, oh my God, Chris Thorndike pop-up donation one. That was, that was nice. I wanted something unique this year. That was brilliant. And obviously, I need to thank uh, Ram the Dragon, Sophia Ray. Like, she did 
the key art for me, which was based on the... Uh, it was based on Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I believe it was Tokyo, uh, or it was something earlier than that. Like it was, it's, it's, it was based on the key art in editing. If I remember, I'll put it in. And then, obviously, she went and read it and made like a whole new logo for us as well. Uh, like the two variants, you had the normal Race for Good 2020 with the banner, which we can use year on year, and there's the other one where you've got Andy and my like Sonic character there as well, in like the Sonic Generations post, which was real cool. Um. Yeah, I mean, I need to give other shout outs as well. I need to give a shout out to uh, Sven, Jocelyn, Dreadnuts. Uh, he put the post up on uh, Sonic Stadium for me as well. Uh, I think that's everything. Oh, Mr. Frasley. I completely forgot about Mr. Frasley because he left my Discord for some reason. Like a crazy fool. Uh, Mr. Frasley um, of Like Frazzlecast, my co commentator, for my, my co host for Stories Around Azeroth. I need to thank him. He came on donated some crazy money as well i believe he bought some merch as well as michael did um but yeah that that's it last thing i need, i need to thank all of you like it couldn't have happened without you guys like this this couldn't have happened without you lot <laughs> and that is the one thing you need to take away so now you have this and my god i hate it already just looking at it while i'm while i'm recording this i'm like Bleh. Mirrors. Look, look at this. You can see this now. Look what you've done to me, people. What have you done? Anyway, thank you very much. As always, you can catch me and Andy on our normal Twitch channels, YouTube, social medias, everything else. You know, it'll all be in the description below. Um, take care, and hopefully we'll see you next year for Race for Good 2021.